Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. I am Fiery Red Hero 8, and we are going into the temple in which I was born. The Fire Temple. Yeah, I did mention this to you guys, but I was actually born in this temple. Yet I don't even know it very well. I mean, I know the, f the Forest Temple better than this one. This temple actually isn't that memorable to me. But the Gorons raised me, I was born here, it was a wonderful childhood. And we're coming back to it, just to say hello. No, not really. I actually don't like super duper hot weather, especially humidity. I freaking hate it. I'm really happy that fall is here. But I mean, fall colors. Nice reds and browns. Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is Link. You've grown so big since I last saw you. Oh, so cute. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Earth. Or on Earth? On Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon, Volvagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer. But I have no choice. Link, I am asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the v dragon, please save my people. The prisoner's cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Link. And he just backwards walks into the boss door and doesn't even have the key. Lucky bastard. And he's, well, he's half right because they are in the opposite direction. However, there is one Goron here. And we want to get him real quick. And man, that Goron must be pissed. Like, hey, bro, man, you're right there. You won't even fucking unlock me. You could have just had him, you know, you know, unlocked him and then he could have helped your brothers. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? You almost sound like it's a game. Well, it is a game, really, but eh. Not in this world. This is real. This is real. I tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to the room, a room above the ceiling, right away. Oh, trust me, this we're in for a long haul with this temple. I just practiced it, and I couldn't believe it. Like, I can't believe I don't remember this temple very well. But, I mean, it's it's not very hard. It's just, I don't remember it. I couldn't believe it. So much for me being fiery and all that. I mean, but I do, I you know, I've come to appreciate the fire element more so. And my god, guys. Okay, look. Pokemon X. I saw Mega Charizard's evolution for X. Holy shit! I am so excited for that. I know it was random, but my god, it just... I cannot wait to get that game. I'm half tempted to get Y, too. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Like, as of right now, I could be out of town again when Pokemon X and Y are released. And I have X already paid for and all that. However, you know, if I'm out of town, then I can't play it. And I'm like, shit, fuck it. I might just want to buy Y right on the spot. But at the same time, I mean, money can be better spent elsewhere or better saved elsewhere. And I'm not even following the path I was supposed to, but whatever. You are supposed to go this way first, at least in the walkthrough that's linked in the description. I use that one. Ugh. Those fire keys are going to show you that they are fucking stupid. I hate them. I believe this is the right way to go first. Yeah, this looks quite weird, doesn't it? Yeah, door-shaped area, but there's no door. Yeah, door my ass. Or no door my ass. This is one of several Gorons. I believe there are eight Gorons in this temple that you can you have to save. And each of them hides a key with them. Am I free to go? Yes. What's the secret? Secret. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut to activate. But you can also use the Goron special crop to do the job. Yes. Um, he's basically telling you because there are certain switches you're hit, but they're timed. But if you use a bomb, then it gives you an extra couple seconds to get closer to said area. But we'll go more over that when we get there. Which might be in this episode, but I'm not sure. Because I just basically spent like an hour and a half in this dungeon. I'm sure it can be done in under that time, but you know, when you practice, you always have to give or take a few minutes. So, that being said, we're going to go directly across from here. And I'm just going to take this, uh, the pussy way, the sissy way. Go this way. Instead of going right across. But yes. I hope that you guys are enjoying your week. I hope you guys are having a nice fall crisp day because it is fucking hot as balls over here. Indian summer, pretty much. I mean, 
And the colors of fall are starting to change around me, but it's still, it's just, it's too damn hot. I was like, what the fuck, really? Okay, and I do want to come up to that top area after I leave this room, or else I will forget. I'm trying to go down the system I have in my head before I forget it all, because <laughs> I believe there are five gold skulls in this um, temple as well. Secret, secret! What's the secret? A wall that you can destroy with a Goron special crop will sound different than a regular wall if you... Yeah, it's a little bit higher pitched. And you'll we'll see that, of course, soon enough when we're actually looking for one of those gold skulltulas. Just talking about everything before it happens. That's just lovely. I'm spoilerific, aren't I? Okay, that's two keys. Now, before we go towards the center... God, I, I'm just, like, so hoping I don't get too confused. You want to go up here... And whenever you see a block like this, you want to play the Song of Time. Now, I believe that's... I don't know if I've addressed that yet in this LP or not, but that will get rid of the, um, the Song of Time stone here and usually move it to another area like it did just now. But we're going to go in this room. Nice green area. I love green. And we are going to put up our shield... and get backed into a corner because obviously you'll take damage if you get hit but if you just put your shield up and you'll just get backed into a corner but you won't take any damage however there's a like like here a lot of you guys know about this fucker he will eat your shield now if you defeat him after he's eaten the shield you'll get it back but if you leave the room and if you leave the room after he's done that then you will not get it back so just remember that if he eats Whatever your, like, your weaponry and your shield or whatever, don't worry, he won't eat your sword, but just don't leave the room. Just just defeat him with what you have, and you'll get all your stuff back. Alright. It's one of five gold skulltulas. Three of them can be accessed, I believe, from one area. I'm hoping I'm right there. All right. Oh, hello, Miss Piewacket. It's been a long time since you've joined us in a video, even though you haven't really said anything. She's probably like, shut up. Shut up, mother. Yeah, I'm not, well, not mommy, it would be sissy, but still. She, um, okay, that was the way out, so this is the way in. I, I actually miss having her in my videos or, you know, around, because she used to be up here a lot in the spring, but I think cats go through spells where they'll sleep around one area, hang around one area of the house, and then they'll just, after a few months, they'll change it up, because she, I miss my pie pie, and she hasn't come see me. So I made her come see me. I bribed her with treats. You can slide down this area and climb your way up but I feel it's just easier to do this if I forget I can't shoot that high there we go just be care just be have be sure to tilt the analog up or else you're just gonna fall all right fuck you keys eat shit and die you eat shit and die okay I'm such a nice person but yes I am happy to say that as of right now, I believe that my Glaceon jacket will be here tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited! By the time this video is posted, this will actually, um, I'll probably will have my Glaceon jacket because I checked the email and it, it shipped on the 30th of September. And as of right now, it is not that far away from me. So I should hope to get it tomorrow. I'm so excited! Oh my god, I've waited so long for this jacket. And, um, today also I will have gone to my rehearsal dinner not my rehearsal dinner my friends rehearsal dinner um but i'm in it so and then i'll be going to said wedding on saturday and then back to work because i mean i open in the morning nine to two go to the rehearsal and then the dinner and then um i wake up go get my hair done go to the wedding and then work five to close and then Sunday, 1.30 to 6.30. But that's actually, you know, if this is the first Sunday in weeks that I will have only had a small shift like that. But I don't, I, I don't doubt that I might get called in early, so. That's usually to be expected around this time of year. Espe like, especially later on, it's going to be, like, super busy where I'm going to have to come in, at, you know, one hour early, two hours early. It's something I count on. But, you know, I keep saying, it's like, you know. You get tired, but you... I mean, I try to think positively, but, you know, sometimes it can be hard to do that. I mean, ask anybody. It can be hard to do that. Um, but, yeah. So, I am really, really excited, though, for my jacket. 
I'm just, I've been waiting for so long. Even though I'm a fire type at heart, I can be an ice type too in prepare, a pre preparation for winter. Okay, that didn't hit the switch. This was um, the time switch I was talking about earlier. See, it's right there. And what you want to do is drop the bomb. Not there. Let me just do that and then move. Get up here. And it should hit the switch. That way... Because otherwise, if you hit, if you struck that switch, you'd be spending your time climbing up and you wouldn't make it before the timer ran out. And the flames would come back, so... Yes. I'm also hoping this fits because, I mean, this is custom made. This jacket is custom made. I mean, I measured. I did the measurements, all that. And I fucking hate this room. I absolutely hate this room because these boulders are a pain in the ass. I mean, they don't really do that much damage and every time they hit you, they'll start going in the opposite direction. But still, it's just a pain in my ass. And I hear... I hear a gold skull till I know it's in here somewhere. I'm gonna get it while I'm down here, too. Okay. I believe this is the third one that I've rescued. No, this is the fourth one. Because the first one was right by Darunia. What's the secret? Secret! When you are on fire, you can put out put it out by swinging your sword and roll or by rolling forward. Did you know that? I didn't. I mean, I'm sure I've read it before when I played this game, but good to know. That's today's lesson, folks. Swing your sword and roll. But we all know the stop, drop, and roll. We were all taught that in school. <sighs> Just a little refresher course from Nintendo. Okay. Now. There is a gold skull to lay down here. I hear it. Whoa. And I'm gonna find it. Whoa. Actually, no. Because it is, it is around here somewhere. I know it. It's here. See that little sound? That is a different sound. That means that you can bomb the wall. You can even see that. Like the area poking back there, too. There we go. Got it. Got you, you fuck. Alright, cool. We're at 12 minutes, alright. It's going pretty smoothly. I'm pretty- I'm quite proud of myself. Okay, now you want to follow the path again. Okay, remember that door for later, but don't go in there quite yet. Because we still need another key. Uh, whoa. Because there is another, um, Goron over here. Hopefully I can- Not- well, there's one up there, but that one you're gonna get later. There's another one right here. Hey, we we saved him. Should be number five, I think. Okay, what's your secret? Secret? It's probably annoying, but <laughs> in this temple there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When one of these doors starts to fall, move. Well, you can tell which one's different. You can just kill it with a bomb. If you use a sample of Goron special crop, you can break it. Yes, I just said that in less than the text that you did. So piss on you. Now. Nah. I wouldn't do that to a Goron. Gorons are nice. Okay. Now that we've gotten the um, two keys that we needed and the skull to that was down here, we're going to backtrack to that door that I just said to remember. And all I can say is watch your footing next time. Or you know, watch your footing, not next time, but when you get in here. Because if not, then you got a long way to get... long way to go to get back where you were. Okay. There's that one over there, but we don't want to go there quite yet. We want... I'm, I'm low on bombs. This is not good. Okay. Let me just... See, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a poor shot. I have to line myself up all slowly and everything. Okay. See, all the way down there? That is, like, the main area with the bridge where the um, two Gorons were on the other side of the room. It's a long fall. Okay. And over here, after all this exploring, we get... What we need for all navigational purposes! God, it was so funny. I remember... <laughs> when Gilshanks and I were at the mall the other weekend, I compared the dungeon map to a mall map because it's so big. Like, his mall is so big and we couldn't find anything. Well, it's not that we couldn't find anything, it's just we were trying to find a certain area and it was like, okay, we gotta go here, here, and here. And I'm like, damn, this is just like Zelda! <laughs> Only I think that dungeon maps in Zelda are easier to understand. <gasps> oh my god. Whew. That was not good. Stop distracting myself, Fiery. Stop doing that. Go around here. 
Now, you can just go up there like that, but I choose not to. Because you can walk on the lava for a few seconds before you take damage. Now, with this, you gotta move. But don't worry, it's not at all threatening. I mean, you definitely don't want to get caught by it, you'll take damage. But it's not like it's a fast-moving fire or anything. So you can just go like this. And then go up to this door. And here we are on the top half of the boulder room. And I'm going to stop here, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out!